השם אלוהי יעקב, ישלח אחריך מקודש ומציון מסדקה, יזכור כל מנחותיך, ועולתך ידש נסלה, ייתן לך פלבו לך, וכל עצתך ימלא נרננה, בשורותיך ובשם אלוהינו נבכות. ימלא אדוני כל משאלותיך, אתה ידעתי כי הושיע אדוני משיחו יענכו משמי קודשו בגבורות ישע ימינו אלה ברכב ואלה בסוסים ואנחנו בשם אדוני אלוהינו נזכיר המה קרו ונפלו ואנחנו קמנו ונתעודד אדוני הושיע המלך יעננו ביום קוראנו. שיר המעלס אל אדיני בצרס עלי קרסי ויענני אדיני הצילו נפשי משפש שקר מלא שם רמיה מה ייתן לך ומה יסיף לך לא שם רמיה חצי גיבי שנונים עם גחלי רסמים אהיה לי כי גרתי משך שכנתי עם פועלי קדר רבס שכנה לו נפשי עם סייני שולם אני שולם וכי אדבר המה למלחמה גדולה הצדקה שמקרבת את הגאולה. Good Yantif, certainly it's well known that Yud Beis Tammuz is a Chag HaGeula, Day of the Redemption, of the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe from prison. But here's just a little bit of the historical background, so we know what and why we're celebrating. As you probably know, the Frida Karebe was arrested and put in prison in Soviet Russia called the Spalerno prison because of all his self-sacrifice to spread Torah and mitzvahs even in very harsh conditions in Russia. He suffered horribly and was repeatedly questioned and beaten in prison. Originally he had been sentenced to death, but Bar Hashem that was removed on Gimel Tamas, and instead he was released from prison to go to exile to a city called Kastrama, which is very far away from the main cities of Russia. The reason being they wanted to isolate him and make him feel very lonely and disconnected from his Hasidim. At the train station about to go to exile, many Hasidim gathered to see him off. And even though there were Russian agents there and he was taking a risk, the Friedrich Rebbe spoke to the crowd with a lot of strength and he encouraged everyone to continue in all the activities the ones he was actually arrested for. And he proclaimed, all the nations of the world must know that only our bodies were sent into exile. Our souls are not given over into captivity of foreign rulers. We must proclaim openly and before everyone that any matter that's connected with Jewish religion 
no one can have any control over. Now, Yubay's Tammuz is the day that the Rebbe was told that he would be released even from this exile in Kastrama and that he would be completely free to return home. And then eventually he ended up leaving Russia completely and then on to Poland and Warsaw and eventually Bar Hashem, Bar Hashem to the United States. In a letter of the Frida Karebe, he says about these days, Yud Beis and Yud Gimel Tamas, that Hasidim should participate in a Fabrengen and encourage and strengthen each other with brotherly love to set times for Torah study. And he said to all those that Fabreng, I will send you my brachas that Hashem will give you everything you need in spiritual and physical matters. And lastly, in a famous letter he wrote to his Hasidim the next year, in honor of the first anniversary of his release of Beis Thomas, he took it a step further and said, it was not myself alone that the Holy One, blessed be he, redeemed us on Yud Gimel Tammuz, but also all those who love the Torah and observe its mitzvahs, all those who even just have the name Yisrael, Yid, because the heart of every Yid, no matter where they're holding, is perfectly bound with Hashem and His Torah. So indeed, the day of Yud Beis Tammuz is a Chag HaGaula for every single Jew and probably also for all of mankind.